Welcome back friends to Average Joe's Barbecue. Today we're going to do something that is really amazing. Your friends and family will absolutely love this one. We're going to be stuffing manicotti shells with ribeye steak, onions, peppers, and mushrooms. And we've got to add some cheese too. So stay tuned and we'll jump right in. Started. It's very simple and it just takes a few key ingredients. What I got here is some about two pounds of smoked ribeye steak. I went ahead and, and cubed this very small so we can get it inside the shells. So we're going to go ahead and combine that to our mixing bowl. And then here I have a mixture of mushrooms, onions, and bell peppers. So I sauteed them already. We're going to go ahead and add that. And lastly, we're gonna have some mozzarella cheese. This is about a pound. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a good mix. I'm gonna go ahead and use my hands because they're clean. I'm just gonna get it all mixed well. have it good and mixed, you want to get some manicotti shells. These are available at practically any grocery store. And these will make it very easy to do. So there is no right or wrong reason or right or wrong way to, to do these. Um, you do what, what suits you um, to get these actually stuffed. But you know I'm just going to use my hands and just start pushing the mixture in there. Pretty simple. Just get it all in there. And when you get to about the end, completely filled up, here's where the magic happens. You want to get yourself some cheap, thin cut bacon. Um, no need to go expensive on this, just uh, very cheap, very thin. This will uh, cook faster and crisp up much nicer. And you just go ahead and wrap these things. Now, depending on the size of your bacon and the size of your shells, you know, you may need more than one slice. As you can see in this case, I'm definitely going to need another one. But it's okay to add a little more bacon. It's not going to hurt anything. And just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these wrapped up and I'll bring you back, stay tuned. Welcome back friends. Now we've got all of these wrapped up as you can see. And so the next step is we're gonna add a little seasoning to the bacon. Now this step is completely optional. Um, many of you guys have probably seen my other videos where I've used this before, but this is a dry jalapeno powder. I'm going to cover the bacon with this to give us a little bit of kick. Alternatively, you could uh, add some giant diced jalapenos to the mixture on the uh, inside of this and be just as good. Um, but again, totally optional. If you do use a, um, a rub on your bacon or a uh, spice blend, uh, make sure that it is a low sodium. Um, bacon already has a lot, of, uh, a lot of salt in it. And if you put a, a high salt blend on your bacon, chances are it, it's gonna be pretty much inedible at that point. So just be cognizant of that if that's what you decide to do. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these, to, I'm just gonna do a light little sprinkle on these. Again, this is just to get a little bit of jalapeno flavor on these. I have to flip them over to the other side. Go ahead and 
exact same thing on the other side. Light bulb is going to here. That's it. Very simple to do. All right, we're going to get this over to the smoker. Smoker, I'll see you over there. Welcome back. We're here with the grill. Today we're going to be using our uh, Gorilla Grill Silverback. We're going to be running this about 225. I'm using uh, hickory uh, smoke on this hook today. Uh, we should plan for about an hour and a half to two hours uh, to, for the total duration of the cook. Um, essentially what we're trying to do is get the bacon cooked and crisp. Uh, the, the filling is already pre-cooked, so nothing to worry about there. We're just trying to get that bacon to where we need to be. Uh, so plan on about one and a half to two hours. So we're going to go ahead and throw it in. Go ahead and let that go, and we'll come back and check on it in about an hour, and I'll bring you guys with you. Stay tuned. Welcome back, friends. It's been about just over an hour. We're gonna go ahead and give these things a check. Oh yeah, bacon starting to look good. Almost there. All right. Well, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and give it a barbecue basting. Um, use your favorite barbecue sauce. Once to get some moisture on these shells, so they start softening up. So uh, just choose your favorite. No, no limits on this. about half an hour and bring you back. Welcome back friends. It's been about an hour and 45 minutes total. We're gonna give you a check. Absolutely amazing. Ooh, look at that. That is delicious. All right, let's go ahead and give these things a taste test. Hot. Ooh. That is hot. That is so good. Smoke of bacon, smoke of the ribeye, that is good, absolutely fantastic. Well folks, if you want something to impress your friends and family on next game day or holidays, I highly recommend this. Uh, it's super easy to do, didn't take much time at all, and it's guaranteed that everyone will like this. So if you like what you see, consider hitting like and subscribe below, otherwise I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Thank you.